What's up, guys? It's me, your badass host, Draven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Alpha Sapphire walkthrough. Okay, so... Huh, it looks like to us, we're on a side quest. Yes, we are. And, well, I really haven't decided where, and I didn't know that I didn't battle this girl right here, so, wow, this is a surprise. The more you know, I think I skipped her, so here we go, we're taking on Fairy Tail Girl Cece. And, just like the name says, it's she's a fairy tale girl. Alrighty, okay. Here we are with Thunderball, and Thunderball is just gonna make quick work of everything right here, so... Here we go. We're gonna go with a Charge Beam attack, and that nearly defeats Spoink right there. And I don't know why you're using Odor Sleuth, but okay. So let's see, a little bit of a story time. I remember when I first caught Spoink. I actually thought that this Pokemon was going to be was going to be strong until it evolved into a Grump Pig. I remember having that. I remember grinding, okay, literally grinding. In, uh, what was it called? Uh, I remember literally grinding a Spoink in order to, like, actually evolve it and all that stuff right there in the Jagged Pass. And we're talking about Pokemon Sapphire. And it took me a while, but once it evolved into a Grub Pig and it, and it didn't learn any other great moves and all that crud, yeah. I, um... Yeah, I, I, I was kind of disappointed because it was like, holy buckets. I literally... I literally wasted my time just to do all this stuff just for this. Just to get a pig. Probably should have called it the Baconator or something like that. I don't know. Because eventually it turns into that. So yeah, that's my story on that Pokemon. And well, like I said, I didn't really plan for anything in this, in the, like for a side questing thing. So we're going to go with the wind takes us. And the wind is taking me right here. And yeah, I still haven't caught any Pokemon from this area. Which, you know, eventually I'll, I will do. So here we are, guys, in Fall Arbor Town. And what we're going to be doing here is we're going to be surfing through the area. And just grabbing a few items here and there, I think, I hope. Let's see. There really isn't anything that you can do right here. But you are unable to surf and to go to the secret area right there. Now, I do see a little bit of land. A little further behind this. So if you go right here... You won't find anything, I think. Huh. Let me see. Yeah, literally nothing. So, we we don't have... Uh, what was it called? Uh, we don't have uh, Waterfall just yet. So, we're going to be moving on forward right here. So, I, I, it looks like to me that today we're going to be doing some episode... Like, we're going to be doing this episode of, like, okay, what can you find if you surf? And I already have a place in mind when it comes to surfing and all that crud. So, let's see... Let's, go to, let's put on a regular repel, and let's get the heck out of here. So, look at that. We're seeing some newer Pokemon. I cannot wait to capture them all, and, well, let's see. Already got all the items right here. Now, we didn't we didn't really get to properly explore the whole, uh, what was it called, uh, Meteorite Falls. So, I think we're going to take a stop right there to see what it's all about. And we go right here. And, well, let's go ahead and put on another, another repel because we don't want to get attack, attacked by any other of these Pokemon right here. So, as you guys can see, you can't really do much now because, well, there's a waterfall right there. But you are able to grab this, a Moonstone, which, you know, enables you to evolve any Pokemon that can, you know, evolve through Moonstone. And that is new. Let's see. That is new. I wonder what Pokemon we're talking about right here. Now remember, if you touch, if you step on the dust, there it is. If you step on the dust without its head popping out, then yeah, you're going to ruin your chances of trying to capture this Pokemon. Now here is a Lunatone. So if we're getting a Lunatone right here, and in Pokemon Omega Ruby, you're going to get uh, Soul Rock, which, yes, guys, I will be trading a Pokemon, or I will be trading each other. So here we go. Let's go with a Dust Ball right here. And it is nighttime. We are in a cave, so this should work. And no, this Pokemon is breaking free. And it's trying to speed itself. Yeah, it's trying to speed itself up with greasy lightning. Alrighty. Let's go. Dust Ball, help me out. Come on, help me out here. There's one. Damn it. Okay, so it looks like this Pokemon won't be 
Yeah, it, it, it wants to be captured. It wants to be captured, uh, you know, properly. So let's go right ahead and use Shadow Eye because I don't think it will be affected by any, any psychic type moves. I don't think so. So let's see. Hypnosis. Yeah, we're getting hit by hypnosis. Yeah, come on, Shadow Eye. Uh, so if it's asleep, does facade work? I want to know, and no, it doesn't. Okay, so yeah, we're gonna have to like literally wake up. So hit me again with the hypnosis. So either way you look at it, guys, I'm still gonna be asleep because Shadow Eye has its uh its stall ability, and that right there is not yeah it's not working. So come on, faint attack, and here we go, faint attack. And wow. Okay, way to defeat my Pokemon, but there it is. Shadow Eye did something. Kick some butts. Take some names. Okay, so that was a that was a pure <laughs> waste of time right there. And let's go ahead and use another repel. And it looks like to me there's another another Pokemon right there, which it left. And I'm trying to find items right here, but look at this. I think I think we can surf right here. Holy crud, okay. So I didn't even know we could surf, but look at the bottom of the sea right here. Or the, the well, I wouldn't say, the, I think it's a ravine or something. But you can actually use, uh, what was it called? Uh, what was it called? The waterfall for this. But if you guys can see on the other side right here, you will be able to find a, a hidden cavern. So, let's see. What's next? So Lunatones or, I guess... I guess they, you can find them all over the place. So what's going to happen is we're going to use this. And bam. Okay. So let's see. Come on. One. Damn it. Okay. So Lunatones are being dicks right now. And here comes a side wave attack. And that right there hits us. And yes, I'm going to run away because I don't need any of that stuff right now. I really don't. Okay. Let's get the heck out of here. Don't want to get attacked by any other Pokemon. And we are... Yes, we are out in a fresh breath air. Or a, bre a breath of fresh air, I should say. And... Let's see. There might be an item right here. But we will be exploring this whole section of Route 115. Because there are extra stuff that you can actually find right here. Like a hidden... Uh, what was it called? A secret base area. There are some trainers that you can find right here. Heck... You can even find yourself some berries. So here we found ourselves a great ball. And, well, let's see. Let's go ahead and take those off. And what, let's go ahead and grab this. Get two whippier berries. Whippier, weepier berries. Can't even pronounce that right. And grab this little sucker right here. Look at this. Bam. We got ourselves more whippier berries. Okay, so there is a trainer waiting for us right here. So let's go ahead and battle this guy. My strongest skill is busting bricks with my forehead. So you mean CTE is your strongest skill? That is hilarious. Okay, so here we are taking on Black Belt Knob, and he will be coming out with a Machop. You know, I could have battled these guys like a while back. I could have, huh? Okay, so Electro Ball. Get this. Okay, Electro Ball does the trick. And there goes Machop. It had no chance right there. So, let's see. Knob. Well, yeah. Knob itself didn't have a... What was it? He didn't have a job. Or he didn't have a chance either. So, let's see. Oh, yeah. We have another trainer here. So, it looks like to me we got quite a few. So, let's see. Hmm. I want to finish him off quickly. So, let's go with Gaia the Fierce Knight. And let's see what this guy's all about. I have rare Pokemon. Would you like me to show you? Sure, why not? Alrighty. Okay, so here we go. Collector Hector. That sounds the same. Collector Hector. And we're going to be coming out with Gaia the Fierce Knight right here. He's coming out with a Zangoose. That Pokemon has immunity, which, as many of you guys already know, it will not get poisoned. It's probably due to, due to its uh, blood feud with Viper. It just learned to... To take that, that that stuff right there. So there we go. Zangoose looking all mean, getting defeated. And Thunderball grows to level 37 right there. Hector, not so happy right now. Okay, so let's see. 
Who's next? I think there's a third trainer right here. Don't want to run. And normally this would be the end of the road right here. But now that we got Surf, we can always come back here anytime. So the next part we actually want to take a look at is right here. And I think we've already defeated her before. No, we're taking on her right now. <sighs> okay, so let's see. Let's go ahead and talk. Let's talk a little bit. So for the start of this month, which is July, which we are currently on, and I'm cur it is currently 4th of July, so if this has already passed by, then happy 4th of July. Happy America. Happy America Day. Suck at the British. And, uh, well, what can I say? I'm doing my absolute best to finish this whole walkthrough as quickly as possible. Uh, hopefully by the end of the night we will have 40 episodes in total. That way I have enough material by the end of the month to, to entertain you guys with Pokemon uh, Alpha Sapphire. Again, these are games that I've actually played since... Uh, well, these are games that I've played... Uh, that I've already made a walkthrough of in their in their other versions and all that stuff. And the reason why we're playing this one or we're playing it again is just to, you know, because you know, good old Draven wants to do everything new, wants to keep everything up to date and all that stuff, and wants to keep everything, uh, or wants to outdo his last making and all that stuff. And, uh, well, let's see. I already caught you, so. Yes, a Pokemon that would. You know, that really intrigues me is Tentacle, mainly because, well, of what it is. And there is a fighting type trainer right there, but if you guys could go right here, you'll find yourself another secret base uh, area. And, well, let's go ahead and take on this guy right here. So, let's go. Okay, so here we are taking on Black Belt Koichi. Kuchi, Kochi, don't quote me on that. And, yes, we're coming out with Gaia the Fierce Knight. We're about to just defeat everybody right here, and the no guard. Uh, I don't know if that. I don't know how that's gonna work with us. So here we go, psychic attack for the win, and Machop, not loving life right now. He is not, and there we go. And who's next? Okay, Machop for the win right here. So let's continue on doing the same old thing. Let's go, psychic attack. And well, look at that. Machop doesn't. Yeah, he doesn't survive. No survival right here. Okay, so Koichi just defeated right there. Very, very much defeated. Anywho, there's more right here. I think there's just one more trainer, but you will be able to find a secret area right here. Actually, two. One being that you can actually find a few berries. Which is a few Blook Berries. I don't even know what those are. And let's go ahead and grab the other Blook Berries. And actually, what the hell did I do? Oh, I used another Repel. <laughs> okay, so Blook Berries. There you go. And no, I do not want to plant no more berries. In fact, I, d I haven't planted berries at all. And if we go right here, get ourselves a few Kelpsy Berries, I think. Yes, Kelpsy Berries. That's a fun way to say it. And right here, you'll be able to find some other Pokemon like Jigglypuff and all that crud. Which, I won't be doing that right now. There is one trainer that is waiting for us right here. Are there any ruins that would satisfy me around here? Probably. Probably every single one of them. Okay, so here we are taking on Ruin Maniac Hayes. And he's coming out with his Sand Slash. And I'm here just like, okay, bring it on. Let's go. Sand Slash, how's it going? I used to think that Sand Slash was like a badass Pokemon, but now it's just like, okay, now that like there's it now that I know that like it's a monotype. And it can easily be defeated by a whole bunch of Pokemon, it's just like uh I don't I, yeah, Sand, Sand Slash, uh, no. And I know I used the Alolan form of Sand Slash at one point. Might be doing it again once we get to Alola. But still. Alright, here we go. Magical Leaf. And just like that, Sand Slash has been defeated. Alrighty. And look at this. Gaia the Fierce Knight growing to level 35 and is learning in prison, which I am not going to use right now because, well, I'm not a competitor, I think. I don't know. Anywho, let's see. 
that's pretty much it right there. Okay, so what is up here? I am going to be using this because there might be hidden items around here somewhere. There's an item right here, and here you'll find yourself a PP up. Haha, <laughs> PP. And you'll be needing a you'll be needing a mock bike to get through the next area right here. But as you guys can see, you can find some different locations for your secret base, and right here in this crater, you'll be able to find yourself a heal powder. Usually, uh, a, a very good thing. So let's go with our mock bike, I guess, and get up here. And let's see, we're still locating for treasures right here, and we're not gonna be using a repel. Might as well not. Let's see, what can we find? Nothing, except for. Hmm, another secret base area right here, and two things. One, we could find ourselves in iron, and let's see, there might be an item right here? Nope. Okay, so that right there is what you'll be able to find, and, you know, it's I guess it's a very nice spot for, like, you know, a secret base and whatnot. So, let's see, I'm trying to get the heck out of here, maneuver myself around here, good gravy. Alrighty, so what's the next place? I think we need to go to Rustboro City now, I think. Yeah, or yeah, I think that's what it is, Rustboro City. And we're gonna be surfing all the way down, and there we are. We're practically at Rustboro, so let's see. Here we go, and here we are, Rustboro City. And I guess the next thing we need to do, let's see. The next thing we need to do is if you guys want to do this, it's 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 only optional. I'm going to do it right now. But you guys can go into the Devon Corporation and go into the second floor and find the man who can actually revive fossils for you. He will be here somewhere. I think he's at the very corner, the left side, uh, the left-hand corner right here. So Let's see, right here, there he is. So, here he is, I am researching Pokemon fossils here. You have a fossil, don't you, uh, don't you? Um, shall I restore it for you? Yes. Okay then, I'll turn that root fossil back into the Pokemon for you. So, a root fossil right here will make a Lilip, and there it is. Lilip has been transported to our PC right there. Later on in our walkthrough, I will be I will be showing uh, the other the other fossil, which I did get in Pokemon Omega Ruby and all that stuff. So just keep an eye out for it. And let's see, is there anything else that I can find right here? Let's see. If I surf, would I be able to find something? I could. Yes. We since we have surf, we can do anything we want here. So let's go right ahead and surf. There might be a secret area right here somewhere. Let's see, there it is. Okay, so PP up yet again. And well, I'm not gonna finish it off right here. We're gonna be going straight to Petalburg City. Because there was some uh, there was some place right there where we or there's some areas right there where you can actually surf and grab items. Uh, the trainers that you see right here, like let's just say this lady. She is more than likely wanting to battle you right now. I'm going to go straight to the, the the nav right here. And as you guys can see, every single one of these trainers will want to battle you, including the rich boy. So what I'm going to do right now, I might as well battle just to get some money. Because remember, the rich boys and the lady girls and all that stuff, the ladies, they usually send out some pretty good money. And by this point, their Pokemon have already progressed a lot. And I think it's based off of... Uh, the amount of badges you've uh, you've earned, so the scaling's going to be pretty good right here. So, as you guys can see, her Zigzagoon has finally evolved into Lanoon. and well, there goes a uh, there, yeah, there goes a the Mud Sport, which yeah, not yeah, <laughs> it's not going to affect me whatsoever. And just like that, we win. In my Lanoon grows to level 33. She is not happy, and she will be giving us $34,000 or $34,000 right there. So, let's continue on right here. In the area nav, guys, you can see by the symbol right there of the Pokemon Trainer, you will be able to battle them anytime you want. And the level scaling will always go up. That's something that will, you know, indeed help you uh, in the long run if you guys want to train your Pokemon. The other part, too, 
is finding secret bases, which also help you out. So let's go ahead and grab this. And this guy's like, after I lost Seedoo, I learned a bunch of uh, things about Pokemon. You know what else I learned? That you have more money than God. So let's go right ahead and battle you again and show you the Pokemon that defeated you before. Now fully evolved. So here we go, Tommy JDF. Ready to go, a level 41, and let's go with a double kick. It just might be a single kick, but it's whatever. So there it is, Lanoon defeated. Alrighty, okay. Alright, and just like that, Olay grows to level 40 and wants to learn Zen Headbutt. This right here, I should probably take out Uproar because it's really not that, not that big of a deal. So there we go, guys, getting ourselves a Zen Headbutt. And Rich Boy Winston has been defeated and gives us the same amount of money. So that's a lot of money right there. If you want to get rich off someone, it would be these guys right here. So let's go right ahead and get to Petal Bridge City because there are two places here in where you can actually grab some items. So if we serve right here, you will be able to find yourself this right here. You'll find yourself a, an ether. Which is useful, you know, it's very, very useful. And if you go again, there's another there's another spot around here where you can actually get some, some items. And here you'll find yourself a rare candy, which is another great thing. And, well, if you go up, well, let's see, let's go up right here. I think there's just one more spot where you can actually find some, uh, or find a secret item right here. So if you go to this pond, I don't even know if it's a pond or anything. But if you go right here, you'll find another Pokeball. And this one will be a Max Revive, which, as many of you guys already know, there's not a lot of here in Pokemon uh, in Pokemon Alpha Sapphire. I think the only way you can, you can get more is through breaking rocks and all that stuff. So, anywho, that has been this episode, guys. In the next one, we will be... Let's see. I guess we're going to be taking a, taking a trip down here. Let me show you. We're going to be going... Let's go to places. We're going to be taking our trip to Route 105 all the way to Dufer Town. And then following episode, Route 107 all the way back to Slateport. Yes, the side quest continues, guys. It is continuing. Thank you guys again for being patient. Thank you guys again for being supportive. I'll be back for another episode of our Pokemon Alpha Sapphire walkthrough. See you guys.